تشكي تشكي Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am getting my space prepared. I just wanted to show you guys my view. You can't really tell. It makes me so sad that you can't really see the magnificence of it where I'm at. But if you are outside at all, you must be seeing this. So, um, yeah, wow. Just take a few moments and prepare your space. I have found a spot outside in the grass. I have my dog with me. <clears throat> and she's just having a heyday in the moonlight. <laughs> so if you have animals, prepare. I don't know if you can see at all my crystals. I was going to bring lights out, um, but I decided that I kind of just want to keep this dark. Um, I don't need to see you guys. You don't necessarily need to see me, um, just hearing me and following along. I was trying to see if you could see. Oh, there we go. Wow, look at that. Oh, I just got goosebumps up my leg. Because <laughs> it's just the magnificence of the earth is amazing, guys. Like, <laughs> oh. So beautiful. <clears throat> Just getting some of my pretty crystals out. Hmm. Let's see if I can prop my phone up where you can see it. There we go. Come on. So what I'm doing now is I am taking some of my sage and I'm just going to burn a little bit. An odd notification pop up. And so the sage is just going to kind of help me get grounded. <clears throat> and help bring some cleansing to the aura around me. Kind of helps focus my mind, my heart on the intention and the, uh, just the energy of the situation right now. So just gonna break up a small piece. This is just me tonight. I have feathers that I use for my smudging, never blow your sage. Hmm. 
Here we go. Sorry about that. <clears throat> My connection is bad. Hmm. I don't know if you Okay, now that we're situated, we've had a moment to kind of get comfortable, we found our spots, we found the moon. Ah, uh, just take some deep breaths with me. Let's get grounded. Let's clear our mind of everything that we did today, everything that we're doing tomorrow, and all the chaos that surrounds us. So, no grocery list making in your head right now. No conspiracy theory rabbit trails. Just you, moon, and earth. So what we're going to do is we're going to breathe in for four seconds. We're going to hold for four seconds. And we're going to release for four seconds and when you breathe in I want you to fill your entire body from the top down begin to fill with that oxygen almost like you're trying to pull it to your womb and your body may move it may arch it may uh, your muscles may uh, flex in different ways to get that air there but uh, do it with me and you will feel the difference In for four, one, two, three, four, hold for four, exhale, inhale, hold, And repeat. And one more, in for four, <clears throat> you can totally continue to do that breathing exercise. As you sit out here under the moon, you can even turn the sound off and continue on if you are really going somewhere. Um, or you can stick around. We're going to have some good chats. Oh no, Megan. The trees are blocking your moon. Well, it's still early. Maybe you uh, will have an opportunity to see it soon. What's the great thing about the moon is that she moves, she rises, she grows. Wow, I can't even, like, this just doesn't even do it justice, the screen. I am looking at this with my eyes and... I'm looking to my left and my right, and everything is illuminated. I don't know if you could see me at all right now. You could try. No, you can't see me. <laughs> oh. 
<sighs> so now that we have cleared our mind, we've gotten centered, we are here together. Let's talk about the moon and how awesome she is. So, we are in sync with the phases of the moon. The moon phases change on a constant basis, even when we can't see it. It takes approximately 28 and a half, 29 days for her cycle. So from full moon to full moon, just like our menstrual cycles. As a whole, through society, we have been led to understand that our menstrual cycles only are only three to seven days, depending on the girl. That's not the case at all. The actual mens period, where your uterine lining and the blood within that tissue sheds, it's only a very short, uh, short portion of that cycle. In general, that happens with the new moon. Just like when the new moon is gone, it has emptied itself of the light and the energy. It is completely changing before it starts to wax back in. Our bodies shed that cycle of our fertility that uh, isn't holding life and it is expelled from our bodies to prepare new space for new life. Traditionally, hundreds of years ago, thousands of years ago, before electricity and lights and modern technology, majority of women, especially living in villages, tight-knit communities, cycled together. So what knocked us off? Amongst my research, the best I've been able to find is electricity and lights. See, our bodies are in tune with the light, just like plants. They are on a light cycle, knowing when to sleep, when to come awake to uh, consume nutrients um, and photosynthesize. <clears throat> our body is in tune to that light to do the same thing. When we, be when we brought artificial light into society, our bodies became very confused. Um, on top of that, it was now absorbing new energy and frequencies not being emitted from earth itself. So we began to all form different cycles. Our bodies uh, had to keep up the best they can. And for the most part, I, I say for the most part, women still cycle with the new moon. And that's why uh, we have the stereotype of the full moon. Things are crazy and things are insane and everything bad happens with the full moon. And it's because the moon has reached its fullness. It has so much energy. And why does it have energy? Because where it is in space, there are so many other things out there that radiates different frequencies through sound and through movement. And the moon is like a secondary light. It is just so incredibly magical. We have the moon light because of the sun. It's not like it glows in the dark or there's an, aren't 
an on or off switch. It is truly because of its position. So when it's reached this full potential and it's in such a position that things are being magnetized and magnified and frequencies of sound from the universe are being sent out, when we begin to feel those things, this particular moon is a moon in Pisces. I, for one, I'm not 100% uh, into all of the astrological um, meanings of all the signs and positions of the planets yet. They all mean something so amazing, so I'm definitely getting into it. Um, but it has to do with the alignment uh, with the other planets. <clears throat> and I am a Pisces. Uh, my moon and sun sign are Pisces. And all of that is determined on when I was born and where I was born, what time I was born, because of the energy that that area was receiving at the time due to the position of the earth in accordance with the moon and the sun and the stars. Sorry, I got a little distracted. The storm is coming in behind me and there's lightning. Let me see if I can show you over here. I don't know if it'll show up or not. So I've got a thunderstorm coming up behind me and the clouds are swarming around and then the moon in front of me in clear sky. And there's so much energy. It's so beautiful. Wow. And I'm listening to the crickets and the frogs. If you are someone who struggles with anxiety, stress, you may be feeling a lot of energy right now. Go back to that exercise and take a few breaths. So anxiety is a physical, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's a physical manifestation of mental, emotional, and spiritual blockages in your life that are either fully consciously or completely like subconsciously where you don't think you're thinking about it but because you know you haven't addressed it yet it is still there so those little things that we think that we can push down things that we've been told we shouldn't feel Things that we've been told are wrong and we don't deserve. And this, that, or the other. Things that we need to release. Things we need to face. Things we need to heal from. Maybe it's a situation in it. You're trying to make the best of it. But whether you want to admit it or not, it's not raising your vibration. It's not balancing anything within you. It's not harmonizing any of your frequencies. It's bringing you down and it's thumping you. Anxiety. Drugs, medications, they don't heal you from your anxiety or your depression. They are chemical changers that numb you, 
and alter your natural chemicals to make you think that you feel a different way. But in reality, you're just faking it. <laughs> and so, a lot of times you just get deeper into your anxiety pit and your depression. You may begin to experience other physical manifestations like migraines, being sick to your stomach all the time, feeling like you need to throw up but you just can't muster it, feeling emotional all the time but you can't cry. All of these things are very real. You deserve, you don't deserve to feel them. You are allowed to feel them. Your body is trying to tell you something. And your body is this transporter for your spirit. And your spirit is the most important and powerful thing within you, about you. It is you. You are your spirit. And what your spirit is, the actual physical embodiment manifestation, breath of creator, a source of God, if you will. It's what makes you such a beautiful goddess. But we haven't been taught that. We haven't been loved and shown those ways. That's why our culture is so different. That's why the patriarchy now makes us feel inferior puts a taboo on the natural thing that happens to women of us bleeding to bring forth more humans and life force into this world. Sex is a taboo. Heavens forbid you enjoy yourself or feel some pleasure. It's time to reclaim your power. Know who you are. And who you are is beautiful and powerful. (laughs) And you can start right here in this moon. Simply by taking those deep breaths. Start taking some notes. What are the things that are coming to your mind right now? Write them down. No matter how silly they may seem. The first five things you can think of. I will give you some time. While you do that, I am going to go back to my breathing. Take those five things and expand on them later. Use those things as catalysts into how you will carry on in the coming days. Through your journey and your transformation. You can do it. Knowing who you are as a woman, embracing the feminine energy within you, and truly loving and appreciating and honoring that part of you, that yoni, that sacred, powerful, life-holding space in your body. Put your hands, like, 
put your hands on over your womb while you do that breathing. Even if you have had a hysterectomy, um, you no longer have uterus or ovaries, or if you've had a partial, that space is still in your body. It was still created to hold that, and that energy and those chemicals and those hormones still flow through your body and I need to take the time to mention that you still have a cycle in accordance with the moon and all the energy and sacredness that comes to us for us around here you still have a cycle you may be different maybe very different your body is still very powerful and holds a lot of energy you still feel a lot of things also, if after this video or if during it, you feel the need to cry, let it go. Whether you're not thinking of anything and you're just releasing all of that energy and that tension, that stress, that negativity that's bottled up within you, let it go. Sigh, huff and puff, moan, scream if you need to. Make sounds, let your body say what it needs to say. Put that energy out there. Don't let it weigh you down. Maybe it's because you're feeling overwhelmed by all the love around you. And you just need some tears of appreciation. Maybe you feel lost and alone. Down. Stuck. Let this cry <laughs> be the door opener to your healing. When you cry and you're letting those things go, it's the first step to you releasing those, those blockages. Because now you can focus and you're not trying to tread those tears building up behind your mind all the time. So just let it go. I am going to end this video with just a couple additional little things you could do. Um, I have my yoga mat with me tonight. I may not use it. I may end up just laying here, but uh, this is a great opportunity to do some yoga, to open up those chakras, and to release tension and stress in your body, um, get the blood flowing, get oxygen into parts of your body that hasn't been able to breathe in a while. <laughs> um, so just simply stretching, breathing, journaling, sketching. Let this be a moment for you. Love you. Maybe you only did five minutes of this. Maybe you stay out all damn night. Take care of you, love you, I love you. Thank you for watching and listening, and enjoy your moon magic. I can't wait to hear all about it. <laughs>